Lads need someone to look up to, even in animation. Hi, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney and Pixar male role models. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at guys in both Disney and Pixar films who for one reason or another stand as key examples that all men should aspire to. You and Tiana will turn human again, and then we're gonna get ourselves married and live happily ever after, the end. Yeah, more or less. But remember, you must give Tiana all the money she requires for her restaurant. Because Tiana... She is my Evangeline. Number 10. Pacha, the Emperor's New Groove A devoted family man driven by the desire to do what's right no matter the circumstances, Pacha is the salt of the earth through and through. Dad, I ate a bug today! Oh, was Mom <laughs> baking again? <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. I heard that. Okay, everybody, move aside. Lady with a baby coming through. Dad, 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 look at how big I am! We were all measured today. In spite of Emperor Cusco's selfish wish to destroy his family home, Pancha can't bring himself to leave the young ruler stuck as a llama forever, and even risks his life in order to help him. Right, right, left, right. Now, what? While it would have been easier to let him get eaten by jaguars, Pancha proves that one should always strive to do the right thing, even if that means helping those who sometimes don't deserve it. You know, call me crazy for following this guy all the way out here, but as much as he tries to deny it, I know there's some good in him. Besides, I couldn't just leave him out here all alone. He's a lousy llama. Number 9. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. This furrier incarnation of the famous archer may downgrade the evils of the wicked Prince John, but there's still plenty to like when it comes to this fox. Why, someday you'll be called a great hero. A hero? Did you hear that, Johnny? We've just been pardoned. Oh, that's a gas. We ain't even been arrested yet. In a bid to save his beloved Marion, as well as the rest of the citizens under King John's tyrannical rule, Robin rallies other outcasts to stand up for what's right. Marion, my love, will you marry me? Oh, darling, I thought you'd never ask me. <laughs> but you could have chosen a more romantic setting. We're not saying you should be encouraged to steal, but giving to those less fortunate than yourself is an age-old virtue that should not be forgotten anytime soon, something the merry men actively encourage. How oh, can I ever thank you? I only wish I could do more. Here. And keep your chin up. Someday there'll be happiness again in Nottingham. You'll see. Number 8. Mufasa, The Lion King Sure, Rafiki was the one who knocked Simba back to his senses, Ow! Jeez, what was that for? It doesn't matter! It's in the past! But by far the greatest source of inspiration to the future King of Pride Rock was his father. Wise in both life and death, Mufasa taught his son, and by extension us, about the circle of life, what it means to be a ruler, and that he will never be truly alone. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Even from beyond the grave, his potent words managed to rouse Simba into accepting responsibility. Look inside yourself, Simba. You are more than what you have become. While we can never truly escape the mistakes of our past, it doesn't mean we should cower away from facing them head on. Besides, who are we to disagree with the voice of James Earl Jones? We are all connected in the great circle of life. Number 7. Tarzan. Tarzan. Aside from showing us how to get into great physical shape, the Lord of the Apes also stands as a great example of how you can still grow to be an exceptional human being, no matter the environment you were raised in. Despite growing up amidst gorillas, Tarzan never turns down the opportunity to educate himself about the modern world. No, no, no. No. <clears throat> I'm Jane. No, no, no. No. <clears throat> I'm Jane. However, he never forgets where he came from and never hides who his true family is. You will always be my mother. <sighs> and you will always be in my heart. His everlasting pride and love in his unorthodox origins in some ways make him more of a man than most. 
Go ahead, chew me. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> A man like you! Number 6. Eugene Flynn Rider Fitzherbert. Tangled. Not even smoldering good looks and a talent for thievery can help anyone escape their misdeeds forever, even someone like Flynn Rider. After finding himself on an epic adventure with the beautiful and curious Rapunzel, he soon finds her radiant nature enrapturing him. Save what has been lost, bring back what once was mine. What once was mine. As a result, he slowly learns that not only is it good to dream, but it's never too late to be true to yourself and make up for past mistakes. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? It will be. And what if it is? What do I do then? Well, that's the good part, I guess. You get to go find a new dream. Nobody's perfect. But if a career criminal like Flynn found it in himself to sacrifice anything for the woman he loved, what excuse do the rest of us have? Number 5. Remy, Ratatouille. Speaking of dreams, this little rat blew everyone out of the water when he went on to defy all expectations with his passion for cooking. And not just any cheese, Tom de Chevre de Pay! That would go beautifully with my mushroom! Despite having the drive and talent needed to become a world-renowned chef, even by Paris standards, he was constantly halted due to the fact that his species is considered vermin. Take it away from here! Far away! Kill it! Dispose of it! Go! Of course, this didn't stop him from trying, with his eventual success serving as a great metaphor to never stop pursuing your life's goal. And that talent can come from even the most unlikely of people. Last night I experienced something new. An extraordinary meal from a singularly unexpected source. Number 4. Aladdin. Aladdin. He's one jump ahead of the breadline, and the one that introduced us all to a whole new world. Despite coming from nothing and being regarded as a street rat by many, Aladdin went on to not only win the heart of Princess Jasmine by just being himself, but show that it's not the wealth and power that make you a prince. What are you gonna do? I'm a street rat, remember? I'll improvise. When faced with hunger, he still gave what he had to the less fortunate. And when given the choice, he still risked his future with Jasmine to give freedom to the genie. With such selflessness, we'd say Agrabah is in good hands. I gotta stop pretending to be something I'm not. I understand. Genie, I wish for your freedom. One bona fide prince pedigree coming up. I what? Number 3. Milo James Thatch, Atlantis The Lost Empire. He may not look like a hero, but as we soon learn, you don't need to be built like a brick house to show true bravery. Obsessed with finding the lost city of Atlantis, Milo's journey takes a rather dark turn as he soon finds himself having to deal with betrayal, violence, the supernatural, and saving the chieftain's beautiful daughter, who can save herself just fine. Tired, Mr. Thatch? Ah, that's a darn shame! Cause I'm just getting warmed up! It's through these ordeals that his frailness fades and shows that you don't need muscles in order to stand up for what's right. Having ancient weaponry probably helped, though. Where are you going? I'm going after Rourke. Milo, that's crazy. I didn't say it was the smart thing, but it is the right thing. Number 2. Quasimodo, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. No one in Disney has had it harder than this guy. Misshapen, hidden from the world, and deceived by the cruel Judge Frollo, Quasimodo's life looked like it would be confined to isolation and misery. Hail to the king! However, in spite of all these hardships, his spirit refuses to be quashed. He still sees the good in people even when they abuse and ridicule him. <laughs> A 
Quasimodo! Heck, he even lost out on the beautiful Esmeralda and yet was more than happy to bless her relationship with Captain Phoebus. Not that she needed his blessing, mind you. Also, Phoebus is a swell guy in his own right, but there's just no beating Quasi. <laughs> I will never stop rooting for Quasimodo. He does the right thing not just because he's gonna get the girl, but because it's the right thing to do. Goals. Now he is great, but our number one puts the pocket in PETA. Our programming prevents us from injuring a human being, but we'll take that. But Hans is not a stranger. Oh yeah? What's his last name? Uh. Of the Southern Isles. What's his favorite food? Sandwiches. Best friend's name? Probably John. Eye color. Dreamy. Foot size? Foot size doesn't matter. Have you had a meal with him yet? What if you hate the way he eats? What if you hate the way he picks his nose? Picks his nose? And eats it. Excuse me, sir. Look, over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest, and it's not because you're a space ranger, pal. It's because you're a toy. You are his toy. But why would Andy want me? Why would Andy want you? Look at you! You're a Buzz Lightyear! Come on. I think I understand your math assignment. We still have some time to finish it before you test. So first you want to put all the numbers by themselves. See? No matter where she goes or where she lives, she's always going to be our friend. And we just got to trust her. Because that's what best friends do, right? Number one, Hercules. Hercules. Wonder Boy sure has come a long way. Born to gods yet raised by humans, Hercules spends much of his life struggling to find a place to fit in, something that sends him down the path to try and become a true hero. You're the greatest parents anyone could have, but I, I gotta know. Along the way, he finds himself tested by issues such as fame, romance, heartbreak, and a literal deal with the devil. Okay, I need an answer like now. Going once, going twice. All right. Yes, we're there. <laughs> Through all of this, he eventually matures and comes to realize that in order to become a hero, one has to learn self-sacrifice, as well as embrace all facets of their past. This is, this is impossible. You, you, you can't be alive, you'd have to be a... a god? Both his deeds and ideals speak volumes, making Herc one Disney character all guys can, and should, respect. I always cry when Hercules figures out where he belongs, and also when that Theban guy says, that's Phil's boy, and then Phil starts to cry. Hercules is the best movie, you guys! Which Disney or Pixar guy do you try to emulate? Let us know in the comments, check out this other great video, and subscribe to Ms. Mojo.